Whenever you see this platoon of death, you should run as fast as you can because you will not be able to hide or survive. Playing Ghost and Light is pure joy, it is the second best light tech map for crazy spotting damage. Whenever you are playing any kind of map in a light and the enemy only has a Sheridan, that means that you basically already won the game. It is so easy to outspot him since he has zero camo compared to you. Watch this. That's why, see? Uh, sir, you are spotted. Oh. Okay, man. It took him took him a while, man, to figure this out. That uh, maybe maybe he's getting shot because he's spotted, you know. Oh, look at this boys. Look at this boys. Once again, and I cannot emphasize this enough, the key to spotting enemy lights through bushes is stacking as much camo together as possible, along with CVS. As soon as the enemy light tank is gone, you should keep driving on the right side of the bushes here all the way until the very end. This way you will spot all of their tanks on this side. I mean, just look at this. Let's see if my FEs are gonna make quick work of them. Look at this 268. Uga Jaga. Uga Jaga, Uga Jaga. Oh, look guys, even more, man. Oh yeah, yeah. Not even two minutes have elapsed and we already have 4.4k spotting damage and much more to come. This is the best part about playing lights. It's somehow so satisfying just sitting in a bush and perma spotting the whole enemy team. Guys, I could just go AFK here, take a pee, make a coffee, and uh, we would end up with 10k spotting damage. And don't worry if they stop peeking, I have a solution for you. Once the STP dies, we can move into a more favorable position. Look chat, they stop peeking man, it would be awesome if this STP would die, because then I could take the corner afterwards. Look. Leo man. Oh guys. 7.7. <laughs> ah oh, man, this position is so broken. It's so broken dude. Well played, WZ. Look, look, chat. He said, "Well played, man." Finally, somebody that praises me as a light tank. Thank you, brother. Blood stomach. Look, guys. Look, I'm just a pacifist, but I'm just, I'm just, I'm not even shooting anything, chat. I'm just, I'm just chilling here. Guys, how long do you think this Leo one is going to live? Write me in the comments. Well, let me help you. Not very long. Leo is perma there. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> Sound nice, 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 nice. When you are no longer in danger of getting spotted in the open, you should cross over to the corner of the map in K0. Just in front of it, there's a bunch of bushes that you can use to cover yourself. 11k, man. 240. He's gonna spot me if he sees me. But, you can just drive like this. Uh -huh. We do a little bit of trolling, guys. A little bit of trolling, Leo. <laughs> you unreal, dude. <laughs> unreal. They have the STR up there, too, man. Oh, no. This guy's gonna die. Oh, Sedge. STRV rams him. Takes 1.3k, man. E3 takes like what? 75 damage. GG. Nice, nice, nice. I have been trying so hard to break my spotting record feature on this channel, but is it going to be to be the WZ light in the end? Once again, the enemy has an EPR and the Sheridan, so both are going to be extremely easy to counter with just sitting in a passive bush. The best passive bush. Opa. Nice. What's good, man? What's good? Since I know the Sheridan is very unlikely to be passive scouting in an aggressive bush, I'm going to take on the opportunity and take the E1 position to see deep into their lines. Oh. Oh -oh. 
Look guys, bug, bug to the gamers, bug to the gamers right there. Since they are very likely to blindfire me and having learned from my past mistakes, I'm going to keep moving in these bushes to make it harder for them. Okay. Nice. Leo's permad. He's not, he's... Look, look, look at the Leo. Look at the Leo, guys. Maybe he's Minus, maybe not. We still know where the Sheridan is. <gasps> they are very, very armored, man. Those two 684s, man. It's really hard, man, to do anything against them. I understand. This guy's not even hold down. Okay. Are you turning your side to them in the position? Because I, I want to keep moving constantly. Because of this tree, I cannot spot the left side and the right side at the same time. You feel me? But this guy should die soon. He's, he's completely in the open here. Just look how many guys we have aiming for my spot. <laughs> nice. He's on fire now. He's gonna burn for a bit. He should die to Arty. If he dies to Arty, I can start moving up very soon. Yes, let's try that. Getting blind shot now. Okay, first things first, man, we need to get rid of this Leo that's spotting there, if he's there, because he's the only one that can spot me here. That is very important. And the way I go here, I have to... I just had no idea what happened! Oh my god, that was so close of me dying there! Oh... My god! The reason I am driving very slowly here is because those bushes on my left all have gaps and they have three guys there that can potentially spot me if I get unlucky. So to avoid it, I am waiting for a window of opportunity to cross safely without being seen. These guys are running away, bro. I wanna be very careful here. Cause this Leo can just YOLO man, insta. It's very easy to make a mistake here. Very easy. This TV? Okay, we'll go now. Perfect! Nope, far from being perfect. Stupid me completely forgot about that Progetto sitting in the corner and well, there were no bushes covering my right side. Oh my god, perfect! No one spotted! Oh, this f***ing Progetto, man. I should survive though. Oh man, there's an FETD there, I didn't die in time. Oh man! Well still, man, 14k damage. Yeah, the other side is way better to do this exactly, man. Cause here the bushes are very, very scattered, man. Like here, there's like not even a bush line. And I should have kept myself to the left side, man, but the, but those guys were on the left side, on the outside, and they were like running around here, and I was very scared, man, to get spotted from them. Scout, patrol duty. If you are an avid Kaiser video enjoyer, you already know what the drill is here. If not, don't worry, you can still remember this by subscribing. Anyway, going to this bush in the middle of Live Oaks is absolutely vital. Now, the RHM has incredible view range, and you will have a fun time spotting out enemy tank destroyers easily behind foliage with the use of CVS. That EBR is gonna suck, man. He likes my H's, though. 
Yeah, they still have two more lights, by the way. Anybody else there? Hmm. Big spot hit, man. Uh, can you kill this guy? K91. Nice. They have a light tank. Very close. Probably here. I uh, I'm getting spotted still. This guy is spotted. I don't know where from I get spotted, man. Look, look at look at the angle I have. Like uh, me getting spotted here should be impossible. Maybe in that bush right there, there, or oh, per perhaps. Yeah, probably probably there, man. In that bush. That would that would make sense. Yes, for the for any of them, probably T100. I think I'm gonna get away from here though. Effie. Nice, if he's still, still spotted. Do I wanna stay? I mean, I can stay, definitely. Why not? I don't need to run anywhere. There's the origin. So we know that Eva 100 is there. Uh, empty. Can you blind this guy? He's there next to the house. This house. Right there next to the bush. You can blind him out. He's there. Our right, EBR is clearing. D4. I'm gonna leave, I think. I think he left. D100 left, I think. I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go. Yeah, he's there. Oh, he's wrecked on me. Okay, well, he's on that side. Uh, I'm gonna try to be aggressive on uh, his E-line. Go towards them. I'll, I'll try and do the same as this EBR, but... Yes, Kong. Nice. Before. This position here is incredible for lights, but you have to be careful to only come here if you're sure you have people covering you. Uh oh, that sucks. I need help. Ho ho ho! End it, bro. HE pen. Uh. Before. Okay. He's aiming for me with the 268. I have to be careful. He's yoloing. Nice. Did this guy give up? No, it doesn't seem like it. Oh yeah, 904 with AP, man. That is obviously... Man, what a gamer, bro. We have 8.4k spotting. Now I'm gonna spot all the base. They shouldn't spot me here. There's the 140. 360. This guy missed. We can do the job instead of him. 472. Nice. You have good platoon mates, man. Gumrock is going up. Fortunately. Damn, nice. Guys, 9.5k combined. It does it does three things better than the Manticore. One, it does more damage because the gun is massively better. Two, it is much faster. Three, you're not drowning in puddles, man, like the Manti, man, because it's actually taller. Much taller. I love the OHM light. It has such a great speed, which allows you to get into early spotting positions super fast and deter the enemy from taking key position themselves. Such is the case on Junkie. Just look at this. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Fuck. What is he doing? This tank has the best gun from all the tier 10 lights. It aims incredibly fast and you're fairly accurate, while the HE shells have 420 alpha with over 100 millimeters of pen. You can push your enemy so easily, I will show you later in the video. That missed? Okay. Okay, man. I don't know who, who spotted me there, but that was weird. Once again, if you're playing with CVS, you will always be able to outspot the enemy tanks through those bushes. Just be careful to always pay attention to the distance marker to make sure it doesn't reach 50 meters, since if it does, you will be proxy spotted. I just like playing with Agent Crow, man. And I promised to platoon with Charlie last time. Uh, when is he gonna realize he's proxy or permad? You can shoot him, by the way, for free. He doesn't know he's spotted.
Nice. Okay. Mr. Mr. Tortoise, hello. Is he actually sitting that low? He has no six cents? I think this man has no six cents, guys. What is this man doing, guys? Once the tank in front of you dies, you can just go ahead and use double pushes to farm all those people at the factory in the middle. This is the way, man. He's gonna have a bad day now. Nice. The chief will spot me though, I think. If I run. Yeah, I don't trust this. The chief has really good view range and the RHM is only about 47% camo fully decked out. I talked about this in my previous video, but once you play different lights, you will have some sort of idea at what distance you will definitely be spotted. In the RHM's case, the danger zone is about 280 to 290 meters, so I can only cross once the chieftain is preoccupied with something else. There is an AMX 13105 in front of me, but since there are a lot of bushes on that little hill, they all provide him with excellent camo rating, aka I will probably not spot him unless he fires. I mean, I will spot the AMX if he pushes. I'm pretty sure if you blind the middle of the bush, right there, you can kill the light. Yep, as I said. Nice, good job. <laughs> I Can I cross without the chief seeing me? That is another question. How far is this chief? 300. Borderline, he will spot me or not. But I wanna try. I just showed you an extremely useful trick. You can ping on the minimap and then hover your cursor over the marker to see your distance. Should be fine, man. 340. The reason I drove straight towards the railway tracks here was because I wanted to proxy spot the object and potentially use the great kind of depression this tank has to shoot the chieftain. Later on, you can also use this position to spot out all their TD campers that are sitting behind bushes at the red line. Oh, uh, this guy has the awareness of a dead cockroach, man. Didn't mean to insult anybody by that, but damn. <laughs> I don't think he's looking cute though. Chief's dead. Alright, let's not. Come at me. Oh, I think he got bamboozled, this, this gorilla. Oh, okay. One. 1.6k dude, okay. Hi. View, 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 view. Then elevation police. Guys, it's time to stop giving bad fame to the RHM. I honestly love this tank more than the T100 and it might be fat and tall, but its view range and gun definitely compensates you. I really despise Overlord. I don't know guys, but I just can't stand this map. Write me in the comments what is your most hated map and why. Anyway, I'm going to try to get some juicy HE pens with this gun in the middle on enemy lights and mediums. I'm gonna pen him with HE. 452. Always worthy to shoot the light. Always shoot the light, bro. I don't think he's gonna peek again. They have the EBR there, dude. <laughs> Lore plate HE pen. Oh, that's so satisfying, man, on this tank. Man, I swear this tank is more satisfying to play than the T100, bro. Those HE shots are just cruel. 420 alpha. I, 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 I will try to go down the zero line, maybe do some spotting, man. They still have uh, double grill unspotted. They can be literally sitting anywhere. Do a quick peek here. Nothing. Two, three. Yo, listen, if you aim with the FPTD at the TVP, I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I go away and I'm gonna go back. Just aim at him, he's gonna peek again in about 20 seconds. I'll mark my words, he's gonna do it. Oh, oh he actually peeks there now. Hmm. Uh... Pick this. <laughs> you see, hey, cheap pens, man. Guys, very aggressive, bro. What can I say? I mean, I love this gun, dude. On this gun, this gun is by far the best light and gun, dude. Okay, let's see if you can spot somebody there. The Manticore is gonna be there. I would reckon right there at the. Let's see. 
obviously spotted. Spot this TVP. He's not here though. Um. Not spotted. He ran. Well, not far away. Oh, he's gonna be so confused now, man. He's gonna be so confused now. Look, chat. <laughs> I told you. I don't think he knew he got spotted from the top, man. I think he thought he got spotted from here, bro. That's why he moved like that. Ay, 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 man. I'm gonna try and be more aggressive here. Really? Nice. Good job, mate. Get a pen. Oh man, look at that beautiful. Manticore is gonna peek in the same bush as he was. Probably one of those. Probably this one. Maybe not. I'll uh I'll move. He's there. I'm just gonna hide the red line now. Oh yeah. Can I cheese him? Can I cheese him here? I wonder. Nah, no way. I hope the IBR is spotting the red line, man. <laughs> Guys, this ISM started up at full HP. Here's the Leo. He didn't spot me for that. Now, that is interesting, but I know that I, if I stay here, I can spot the red line. That's very good info. So the others, Leo in the open. Udes, Leo, nobody. Nice. He didn't spot what? That was quite special, mate. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go now. Or go for the gorilla. Could also work. Go for the gorilla, boys. Let's do damage. Uh oh. It's thick time. Thick. Uh oh. Do this, mate. Chill, bro. Sit down, man. Guys, 5k damage on this tank, man. I think this tank is amazing for doing damage, bro. Really. If you got to the end of the video, congratulations. You are a legend. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It honestly helps me out massively as a YouTuber. And stay tuned because some big things are going to come on this channel. And as always... Stone Cold.